So, you know how in my last mini lad video, I said that I wouldn't make another mini lad video until something big happened? Yes, yeah, something big has happened. He's uploaded an apology video. This apology, it's... It's okay. It is the best apology he's made, but it's pretty easy to be the best apology when all of your other apologies are pretty bad. Now, I do have some problems with this video, which I will get to in a little bit. But in my previous mini lad videos, one of my main points was his lack of a proper apology and how we need to actually address the whole thing. I would be a hypocrite to completely disregard this apology, because as I said earlier, it's the best apology he's made, and in my opinion, the only apology he's made. I'll give credit where it's due and say that this apology is a lot better than all the other ones, but this doesn't mean that I automatically like Minilad and think that this is the best way to address the situation he's in. If you don't know what the entire mini lad thing is about, I recommend watching my other videos on it as I go into depth about the entire situation. But nonetheless, I will summarize the whole thing. I will try to keep it as brief as possible. Mini lad, real name Craig Thompson, is a huge gaming YouTuber. Life was going really well for Craig Thompson. But earlier this year, something changed. He admitted to something absolutely disgusting. Minilad was getting involved in very interesting conversations with minors. Basically, he's a nonce. He made a few very lackluster apologies and by the time he came back, let's just say he wasn't the most liked individual on the internet. When he came back to YouTube, what did he do? Did he upload a decent apology where he confessed to his sins and stuff along those lines? No, he didn't. He uploaded a Minecraft video. After his polarizing return, he carried on like everything was normal, almost trying to leave this whole little massive issue in the past. His videos were being absolutely bombarded with dislikes, far more dislikes than likes. It was then rumoured that he bought some bots to try to improve the like to dislike ratios of his videos, but as of the nature of that type of thing, it was incredibly hard to prove. His discord went into a complete lockdown, no new people were allowed to join, but the ones who were already in it were unable to post anything. I then made my previous videos on Minilad, discussing the Thirst Project, his stadium, his mental health. Yeah, life on YouTube for Minilad, it wasn't very good. To put it lightly. Here we are today, a few hours after Minilad posted his apology video. For the sake of the context of this new issue, I'm gonna also summarize what happens in this video. I'll get to my main point soon, don't worry. Mini's video is linked in the description, so I do recommend that you have a look at it. But if you really don't want to, here's my summary of it. My apology, uploaded on the 29th of December. At the start of the video, Mini declares that this isn't a PR stunt. This isn't Mini Lad. This is Craig. This is is just Craig. He gave us some information about who these girls were. Their names are Hallie and Ash. Minnie states that both of these girls weren't just random fans, they were his friends. Hallie was one of his Twitch mods, so obviously they were close with one another. He started flirting with Hallie in 2017. He was 21 and she was 17. He says he did this because he wanted to... How can I say this so this video doesn't get demonetized? Off himself in early 2017. Mini doesn't go into much detail about what happened with Ash, but they were friends. They became friends through association. He then starts talking about a girl called Laura. Yet another friend. He sent her this. He did this because he was scared. 
He wanted to save his job. He then shows us an apparent private apology he sent to Halley and Ash. He apparently had to fight his PR team to do this. He then goes on about his future aspirations and how much the Mini Lad channel means to him and all that type of stuff. Not really needed in this video. Before I get to my main issues with this video, I'm going to address two of my petty issues with the video. Now you may not agree with me and that's perfectly fine, but just keep in mind that these two issues, they're quite petty and I don't even know if they're intentional or not. I really don't like the thumbnail of this video and I really, really don't like the colour of his background lights. To address the thumbnail, I think this looks rather bait. The first thing you see in a video is its thumbnail. It's virtually an advertisement for the video to get you to click on it. That's why clickbait exists. The more beta thumbnail is, the more views you'll get. Let's have a look at this thumbnail. Rather sad, isn't it? Maybe I'm looking too deep into this, but this thumbnail could lead to the viewer feeling sorry for Minilad before they even watch the video. This entire video is filled with emotion. Particularly, sadness. Minnie Shaw's hell looks beat down throughout the video, so why not convey this sadness in the thumbnail? I can see why people feel sorry for him. He's a wreck. And this could lead to them being more open to hearing his side. Maybe a bit too open. This video, people are gonna watch it. So why not try to subconsciously affect the viewer in the thumbnail? Make them feel sad for you before they even watch the video. In my view, this thumbnail is manipulative. The lighting falls into this subconscious swaying too. It's a very saddening shade of purple. The colour purple conveys quite a few emotions, but this shade, in my eyes, conveys sadness. The overall tone of this video is sadness. The sadness it's complemented by the lighting colour. You may not even consciously notice it throughout the video, but it's still there, working on your subconscious. Adding to the sadness, Minnie's body language, his tone, the thumbnail, the lighting, all complement sadness, the overarching theme of this video. This apology should have been the first video Minnie uploaded when he came back to YouTube. Yes, in the video he does state that it took so long because he was scared. This is no excuse. This issue isn't a small one. It's huge. Based off of the gravity of this issue, even if you were scared, sometimes you have to put your scaredness to one side and do what's right. If he uploaded this video earlier, people would still hate him. But maybe not as much as they do at the moment. If he uploaded this video first and then carried on uploading videos afterwards, I would have my issues with it. But in my eyes, it would have been a better course of action. Since he uploaded this apology so late, it completely masks the meaning of an apology. People don't believe that he's actually sorry. People are saying that this isn't an apology. It's damage control. Please stop disliking my videos. Please support me. I want my job back. If Minnie's return was met with better reception, would this video ever have been made? My next point, the whole mental health thing. According to Minnie, he did what he did because he tried to off himself in early 2017. This is a very serious statement. And I'm not going to say if this actually happened or not, because I don't know. But directly after saying this, he says he doesn't want sympathy? That doesn't make sense. Of course people will feel sorry for you and be overly sympathetic if this statement is true, regardless if you want them to feel that way. The best way for you not to get sympathy for this is to not say it. Minnie has used his mental health as a crutch in the past, and this has left a sour taste in people's mouths. Here's Minnie Lad once again using his mental health, is the attitude that some people have about this. I feel that Craig should have gone into more detail about this whole issue. Some people don't even know what's going on, or they may deem it as a lesser issue. This wasn't 
just casual flirting, it was a lot more. Sexually charged conversations with minors that may have involved the exchanging of inappropriate pictures. This is why you see so many people in Minnie's comment section loving him again or feeling proud of him. They may not know the full story. If he really wanted to be transparent, as he said he wanted to be, he would have provided every detail in order to make sure that his fans know exactly what happened. At the end of the video, Minnie says that he wants to improve in 2021. And this is an okay thing to say, but you have to realize that there's no coming back from this. This issue will be a constant stain on your career and nobody is going to forget about it. No one is going to let you carry on like normal. Lots of people are saying that Minnie should leave the internet and just never come back. This is quite an understandable thing to say, and it's something that I agree with. But we have to realize that this probably won't happen. This is Minnie's job. It's everything he has. And yes, he's made a lot of money off of this thing, but can he sustain himself for the rest of his life? What's he gonna do if he leaves YouTube? What can he do? This has been his job for years, so he's probably not just going to up and leave as much as we want him to. I don't forgive Minilad for this entire thing, and I doubt I ever will. As a previous Minilad fan, a guy who would watch his videos for hours after coming home from school, I cannot forgive him. This isn't a small issue, it's ginormous. I can't just pretend this didn't happen because he's apologized. It's happened, and there's nothing he can do or we can do to change it. I am glad, however, that he at least tried to make an apology. But Minnie's apology, it's too little, too late.